All right, our last event was really unpopular and a lot of people skipped it. How do we fix the game so people play it more and we make more money? Ooh, just do the exact same event again immediately. Put in a bunch of new characters that are only available in boxes. That way they have to spend money unlocking them. Do one of the earlier events that was actually popular where the premiums were relevant and gave people a reason to spend money but not feel cheated. Hey everybody, it's Wilbit, and welcome to the Island of Lost Bots! That's right, it's the, uh, from the episode Absolutely Fabulous, which actually, I think is one of the more clever episodes in the show, and I really love these bot characters. Who are you, and why should I care? Uh, we have another two-week event. Phase 1 and Phase 2, they've actually got it outlined right here. These are the characters that are available this week. Cartridge Robot, Lisa, and Down on His Luck Bender. And then we're gonna have a second Bender costume, I guess, next week in the form of Wooden Bender. And then Sinclair 2K and Robot 1X, an actual usable character, not just the one that currently builds our buildings. Which, that's all really cool. I like those characters, I'm excited to get an opportunity to collect them. But, um, well, we'll talk about the mechanics here in just a minute. Amy, start us off. Finish loading the speech bubble. Or don't. Alright, we didn't get a speech bubble for some reason. I'm sorry, Amy, but traveling to a tropical island planet is not my idea of a good time. Come on, Kiff. You really can't think of anything to enjoy about a tropical paradise? Ugh. The locals creep me out. <laughs> They're all walking around practically naked. Big talk coming from a guy in a barely legal dupe uniform. Alright. Here on Earth, a tropical vacation. So we have got ten... No, nine. We've got... So we've got nine new maps, and these are going to work exactly like the alpha map, with the exception that the coins are different. We now have Delta Island coins and Gamma Island coins that we're going to be collecting in almost the exact same way, where we're going to go down the map and pick up the different stuff. Oh, let's hear what Bender has to say. Um, Bender, I don't want to worry me, but you seem to have snails crawling all over you. Ah, uh, yep, I spent the weekend on a tropical island planet. The little bugger as much to hitch to ride in my chest compartment, because <laughs> I'm so great. Okay, but be careful. What if they escape into the wild and cause some kind of environmental catastrophe like I'm always seeing movies about? Relax, there's absolutely no chance that's going to happen. What's the worst that could happen? Because it already did. <laughs> Alright, and it's time to clear some snails. I'm ho Whoa, these, you have to click on these a bunch. What's up? Bleh, bleh. The good news is, they do seem to spawn in batches of ten. I'm hoping these are a little easier than even the reindeer were during Xmas. Cool, got to knock that one out immediately. And then the bamboo hut, which requires four snail mucus. Oh, why does it want to go there? That's a weird spot for a hut. Sure, we'll put, it, we'll put it over there, why not? Um, and it just drops money. There's not even, it doesn't even drop event stuff. It's just a, it's just a building to make. And Bender has a six second task. Wow, we did that really fast. Bender, you idiot, you smuggled non-native snails across planetary lines, and now they're sliming up the entire city. What? Don't, idea. don't blame me. But you're completely responsible! Why shouldn't I blame you? Ah, uh, because it's a waste of time. I've never taken responsibility for anything, and if I ever do, I promise you it's not going to involve snails. Fair enough. Ugh, I'm exhausted. Professor, help. I was relaxing in the park when I was attacked by a horde of those alien snails. I tried to run away, but I was asleep. When I woke up, I was covered in snail goop. My skin was dissolving. Fortunately, I licked it off before it did much damage. Just as I feared, the snails are reacting to the hostile Earth environment by turning hostile themselves! There's too many of them to destroy. We'll have to fool them into thinking they're in their natural habitat by decorating the city with fixtures from their home world. What does this have to do? Okay. That's the dumbest idea I ever heard, and that's coming from a guy who once let corrosive snail goop off his own body. So, place the tropical mountain. I've actually already got enough for that, which is something. I'm kind of blazing through this. And Bender, avoid responsibility. Okay, 
have fun for the rest of the night, Bender. Bendy Boo. On to the topic at hand before we were rudely interrupted by plot progression. I like the health sign. Some pretty good jokes in there. So the main thing, other than, um, you have the recruits box, and I like that these all have him on there. And I guess the odds are increased the more expensive the boss is, the box is. Unlike last time, where they were kind of even odds, so the Delta gem coins will get the most of, but have the least chance of actually getting what you want. And that's important because in these boxes, in addition to having the three new characters who we actually do want, presumably Lisa, Down and Out Vendor, and Cartridge Unit, there are still a whole bunch of characters from the Alpha event still hanging out. So, um, Off Duty Earl, Billionaire Bot, Casual Fry, Devilish Fry, there's still like all of these characters still available in this box. You could luck out and get these guys straight away. I think the FAQ may actually list the odds because you are now supposed to mention those things whenever you do these. I don't remember seeing anything for the Alpha event, but I'm going to assume they must have had it posted somewhere. Okay, let's look at these different odds. The Delta Box. And since these characters are all still stuck in the box, the these odds will never change. Every single pool, even if you have these characters, could still, you still have a 9% chance to get Robot Gypsy, I guess, every single time you pull. Um, is that, does that add up to 100? Hold on. So, wait. If I add all of these numbers together, I only get 44.3%. Um, so... Duplicate prizes are possible, and duplicate prizes have the same odds. But, but, but... Are there other things to get? It's just these characters. Tiny code, that is not math. Well, it is math, but it's wrong. Maybe double those odds in that? I don't know. I like the odds of getting cartridge bot from that. Yeah, this looks like an incomplete list. I'm not sure what's going on, guys. Maybe fix this up, huh? I even waited a little bit before starting this one because I didn't want to get it straight away. This seems to have the highest chance of getting the cartridge unit, um, but I don't even see down and out bender listed, and he's definitely in this box. So, um, we're not gonna, you know what? We're not gonna sweat that too much, you know, even though it is the legal responsibility to show it off somewhere. You tried, and I appreciate the effort. I just wish it was more accurate. All right, I have grabbed a couple of characters. This is probably a good argument for maybe not sending Bender off on his eight hours straight away. Uh, if you want it for this particular map. I don't think you have to grind for keys this time. You should be able to maybe just grind straight through. So it might be worth it to just, we'll find that out in just a minute. But it might be worth it to just shoot through to the last map where ostensibly they'll be harder, but you'll get better boxes. Here you can see there's a middle path that has common boxes, uncommons in the middle, and then blue um, rare boxes over on the side, but you will need two characters to get there. That's gonna be the theme across a lot of these maps. You'll need two specific characters leveled up to specific levels, and right now they're pretty easy. These are all story characters that are on there, but similar to last time, if you did spend a bunch of effort leveling a bunch of those characters who were in that crazy list that I posted at the end of the episode, some of those are coming back again, and you may need some of those in. Um, and again, you don't have to get those, but I can know some of these maps, you are definitely greatly rewarded for venturing into those other maps. And we're blazing through this one so fast that I'm actually gonna have talked over almost the entire run. And you don't get very many coins. Yep, yeah, wow, those drops are bad. That came out of the rare packs. Health packs, nice, I guess, to get them for free. Well, I admit that wasn't as bad as I thought. The natives were demure and respectful, and they sure can mix a Midori sour. Yeah, I noticed you had like five of them while I was collecting tropical decorations. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's rare that I find a beverage that matches my complexion. If that's what you're after, how about I just vomit all over you, and then you help me with these crates of Panama hats. 
All right, I'm going on a space mission with my top friend Hermes. I'm not your friend, you primitive scuttlefish. Another clever friend insult. How do you stay so jolly all the time? It must be because you're fat. You hurt my feelings. I'm going to tell the professor on you. Um, open any tropical recruits box one time, but it takes 850 co Oh, any box. Wow, I got five coins, and if I get just a scant 600 more, I will be able to open up the Delta box. Guys, we may be in for a grind. But yeah, I can go straight to the second map. So let's just check out the maps, why not? We got a few options here. Uh, you will need all six of these characters if you want to 100% this map. It's not too hard to get one of these side paths, even with Robot Fry here. Um, level 12 isn't too hard to hit. Hmm. Not having great success with these coins right now. I get the feeling that this Saturday, you should maybe set aside some time that evening and, evening and Sunday morning to grind out some Nixon Bucks, if you at all can. Because, oh boy. Now this is interesting. They've got just the two tiers. I'm going with Fry and Earl. They also have Kiff and Nightlife Amy. But there's still three paths down behind each of those. Talk about a fuel sink. I can only assume we'll have better drops in these harder missions, right? Eh, oh man. Cash is nice. Oh man, because the minimums that we get for completion, and maybe that's even first time completion, are really bad over here, you guys. We're also rapidly hitting the point where I do not have characters natively at the right levels to be running some of these maps really quickly. Uh, the path I've chosen here to show off is just Kif and Hedonism Bot, and I had to actually level Hedonism Bot to 24 because I didn't have him up that high of a level. Um, my Robot Fry isn't even close, so I, I chose the Path of Leech Resistance there. But the good news is, since that is a harder path, we do start to see some purple boxes and even green boxes on the easier path. So, again, this may start really punishing people who still are stuck behind that level 30 curve. Um, hopefully, if you didn't participate in the original Alpha event, or if you did and got some characters, hopefully you were able to get at least a character or two up three stars. It's hard to tell. Show me the epic boxes! There we go, 120 coins. That's what I'm talking about. That's the sort of stuff we're going to need if we want to actually open a box in anything resembling a reasonable amount of time. I think that the best bet for actually getting characters is going to be just whatever level you're comfortable handling, finding a team that can get through it. Yeah, because the 100% compl completion wards are not great. Here on 1-5, we're already at a recommended level of 25, which is not terrible. Although it has Scruffy, and my Scruffy is drastically underleveled. I'm gonna run out of Nixon Bucks soon. The character spreads don't seem to be nearly all over the place, but I keep seeing Robot Fry and Nightlife Amy. So you actually are going to get a lot of mileage out of them this event to push them at least to level 30. But past this, all bets are off. It starts... It starts getting kind of crazy. I'm not going to be able to show off the hard paths because they have wandered into some rare characters that, while I have them, they are not sufficiently leveled. Epics. No. Good. All right. We're getting close on these Gamma Coins. Sure do wish the coins from the Alpha event had carried over because there's a bunch that I just kind of sat on. So as if to exercise my futility, I do not have any of these characters on the next map. Um, also, Smitty and Bender are both busy right now. Smitty is still grinding stuff for Elzar right now. And Bender, I think it's funny that there's two Bender gates. You can get, I guess he counts for both because you can't have both Benders unless that's Flexo. No, it's not Flexo. It's Bender. It's me, Bender. 
Um, none of, I don't have any of the characters available at the right level, and my Kif is not three stars, so I have to take the Crap Gate. The worst version of the movie, Stargate. I don't recommend that you watch it or go through the gate. Green boxes... Yeah, you get beta... Actually, beta coins are pretty good and better than gamma coins, but didn't get very many of them. So it's kind of a toss-up in that regard whether it's better to run the harder map on an easier path and get less good boxes. You got a lot more coins than the other one. Um, versus going back and doing the harder paths on an easier map. Kind of a judgment call. I think that if you have a team that can handle it, you should take the toughest path you can handle on the toughest map you can handle. But we are going to take a look at least every map. Um, 1-7 has recommended level of 45. This is also the first map that has gold or orange boxes, which I assume were just using the World of Warcraft, like, kind of standardized color scheme to say that these are legendary boxes. Um, uh, I actually like that this one has Leg Mutant and Leela. Uh, I don't have- I brought them along, they're not leveled up, but they are characters that I would not be offended to level up, because they have both been consistently useful, they're story characters, I'm kind of- I've grown to, if not love, at least accept Leg Mutant. Whereas Cowboy Kiff and Magda do not do as much for me. I'm, I like Magda well enough. Cowboy Kiff. Ugh. Alright, let's check out these blue boxes. I got some alpha coins and a not terrible amount of beta coins. Honestly, if you have a team that is starting to handle the daily planet missions at all, you might be better off just rushing th straight through to map 10 and just grinding down the middle as much as you can, depending on what characters you've selected. 1-8, our penultimate mission. Definitely dropping alpha coins every time you run it, though not very many. It has a recommended level of 55. And at this level, I'm not messing around. I'm not taking anybody who's not up to scratch. Um, Amy has one of the gates here, so I've lucked out because I actually have already been leveling Amy very painstakingly. I do not have Hunter Bender, Scruffy, or Robot Fry. Again, showing up uh, might be worth putting some stuff into. Uh, especially with this level on 1-8, him with this other team would be really strong. But we're getting really close to almost needing four-star characters to even run the paths. Um, I'm going to take this Amy path because I want to look at purple boxes. As much as I... Oh, I really want to know what's in these gold epic ones. Or these gold legendary boxes. But um, I will need... I, it's going to take a grind day, similar to the grind day that I did before, to get a, a team to handle even specifically one of these maps, let alone all the requirements across all the maps. You're going to have to pick and choose a little bit here. There was like one random blue box on that, which is interesting. Beta, alpha, alpha. Uh, that path's looking pretty good for me. I would love to run that a few times and crack open a couple of alpha boxes. Our final map of 1-9 has a recommended level of 65, so that is come in with some four-star characters, ideally. But I don't have the right one, so I'm taking my A-team. The characters to look at if you want to farm this map, especially if you want these crazy golden epic box, these crazy golden legendary boxes of which you get four for taking one of these paths. You either need Devilish Fry and Earl, it's kinda looking nice, or you want Kif and the Professor. Those are all actually strong story choices who I think will show up again. That said, even one four star is a major investment. I have four four stars, and it has taken me for ever to get there, and they're sorely tempting me to use some of my stars on the professor right now, even though I've got these other two scientists who have been waiting very patiently for their turn. Oh, but I have them, so I could upgrade him relatively easily. Let's look at the boxes. I'm only going to be able to get blues from this map, because I don't have anybody up to snuff yet. Alright, let's check out the blue boxes. 
on the the hardest possible map. Beta coin, beta coin. Eh, you may have to go. You, you looks like to get the alpha coins, you're probably going to have to have at least a character or two leveled up so you can get some epic or legendary boxes. I'm really going to have to take a long, hard look and maybe level up at least one of those guys on that last map to level four. I would really like to open an alpha box. Um, I don't know that it costs 850. I only have 116. Um, I'm halfway to having a beta box to actually open to show people. And I barely have any Delta Coins at all. Sad. Tell you what, I'm gonna run this a little bit more off camera because I'd like to have at least one pool just to show it off. Alright, I've been running map 8 and 9 a few times. A few fuel refills later. So hilariously, my first pull is actually gonna be out of the beta box. Wish me luck! This is the only pool I'm gonna be doing this video! Come on! Dada needs a new pair of shoes! Give me somebody cool! Yes! Oh! First try! And I got down on his luck bender! That's actually very cool! Down and out bender is a delivery boy! It's cost for a party, baby! Woohoo! Create now 900 pizza? No. Oh, you've been sticking up the ship ever since we left the tropical island planet. Sorry, I got a little dirty hunting for tropical decorations. You got a little dirty because you started your hunt in the trash bins. I thought we should get the tourist traps out of the way first. Bender, you look terrible. I feel terrible too. That's what happens when you stop drinking. And are a robot. But you need alcohol to function. Why would you give it up? I wanted to see how I'd look with a rust beard. The answer is great. Alright, so you ha when you get the characters, they get quests? Nice. I get that the Force has to help control the Rampage and Snail population, but why send us on space missions? Can't we just control them the way we control the human population? With ray guns. The Chief says we blew our Gamma Ray budget for the year on that New Year's Parade Float Stakeout. It was an honest mistake. That Rose Queen sure looked like a hooker. Well, at least most of the parade goers stayed for the funeral, and the flower bouquets were top quality. Complete any five tropical missions. I've already done that. Open any of the tropical recruits box three times. I'm guessing that's not retroactive. But things you're going to be doing anyway because I'm guessing I'm not going to be that lucky all the time. Um, I do like that I got lucky. I like that thing that happened. That gives me a falsely positive view of an event whenever things like that occur. Um, but it does seem like the odds are better for you in those better boxes. So, if you have the resources, or if you got lucky like I did and have at least one of those characters down the side paths being part of your A-team, it does seem to help a lot for making this event kind of manageable. Granted, I spent some fuel, and I also have spent last week doing a ton of grinding, which you guys saw, to prepare me for having that character, and the thought of doing that on even two or three more characters this week um, has me shaking in my boots a little bit, but we'll see what happens. Um, best of luck, let me know if you get these characters, if you think it is unfair of them to put these characters in this box, if you are just washing your hands of the lost robots, they do seem like fairly minor characters and skins that if you miss them it's not like the end of the world um but they're cool and i'm glad to have at least checked one of those boxes off right away in the video uh best of luck if you're going for it happy grinding in the daily planet if you're not and i'll see you potentially next week to see what's going on with week two of this event bye for now